So, it's out. It's in the wild. Mr. Sweeney by Zuzu Petals is on Bandcamp and every good streaming service and digital music store we could get it onto. Listen to it. You just heard the start of it. Along with whatever I cut in video-wise to go with, I'm sure I found something lurking on my computers to entertain. Share it with your friends, or your enemies, depending on how much you like it. Follow us on Spotify, or Facebook, or YouTube, or all of the places you do your social media and share with whoever you think we should be shared with. Possibly the fashion police. It really helps us. And the more people that hear us, the more likely we are when all of this mess is over. And to be able to play somewhere really cool in front of you. That's what we're in it for. To play music. To share music. That's what we do. cost us a bit of money to make this with all but microphones or audio interfaces or new strings or second-hand laptops. It's been a long journey to get this far. The last release of my own music was in the very early days of Bandcamp. Very early days of me knowing how to do digital recordings. It could have been so much better. This is a super big thing for myself, for Malin, for the rest of the band. It's been his baby for years writing these songs and it made a difference to my life suddenly being a guitarist in a band again. It's been a while. And then trying to get over the fact that that's me playing guitar and it's on iTunes and Spotify and Alexa just woke me up this morning with, with, with my own music. That's terrifying. How does that... I don't even have words. It's just... It suddenly makes me feel like I'm a real musician. Can't be having that. I have to do something like give a guitar a Viking funeral. Meany, meany, my... That one. Yeah. <laughs> The last step has been really easy. Everything that's led up to this has been an exploration in things that I didn't know I didn't know. This started because it's 2020 and the world has gone to hell, and a different kind of hell than I'd imagined hell would be like. For a start, I've been encouraged to not go near anyone, which is kind of paradise for me most of the time, but actually I really miss my friends and my band. But that's another story for another time. It was suggested that we make a mobile phone filming of each of us and edit it together and release some music videos. And making a video was how recording properly started. And there was a Cubase offer to buy the pro version, which was super exciting because there was an extended demo of it available. I was like, oh, let, let, let's try this, guys. Um, I've got most, I've got some vocal mics, um, we probably only need a few small things. Oh, it doesn't work with iPads and Chromebooks and I forget not everyone has a PC. So some of us had to buy some hefty hardware, which was, oh, that wasn't good. I think Stu ended up buying a second-hand Lenovo ThinkPad because... Apple really sucks sometimes. 
Stu found himself beating his head against some strange behaviour and ended up buying a fairly big audio interface to get the drums done properly. He's done a really good job going from... Um, I've kind of mic'd up a drum kit before to getting the drums recorded really well. I had to redo things a couple of times, which was really frustrating because sometimes things didn't record and you could hear the one drum in the other mics and you thought it was there. That drove us insane. And it's really disappointing when he's done a good performance that it's not there. And I think I posted a, a, a video about me going insane because there were timing issues with my performance. That wasn't me playing wrong so much as Cubase messing up. So that was interesting and fun. It was a journey of finding the right sound, which was not what I set out to use or achieve. Um, my nice amp at the start of this was a Black Star. Um, and I've been using my pedals and a cheap PA, high impedance vintage head, which was designed for old microphones, but actually works really well with guitar pedals as my loud amp, because it's really light and I have to carry heavy things, which works really well for me. Um, but doesn't sound amazing for recording. Um, Blackstar didn't work for me either, because the, the clean channel is doesn't have much in the way of tone shaping ability, so that all wasn't working. Um, what I was doing for the lead sound, using this fellow, let's see if the camera focuses, which is um, like a 2000, early 2000s Big Muth, and it's been slightly modified, it's got switches that say ass and ram and red and ram and NYC on it, which is asymmetric clipping, um, ram's head style diodes, and New York style diodes. Um, it just changes the sound of the distortion slightly for each of the stages on it. And then this, this, this is the absolute killer on it. This, this, this is the bit that you really need, which is swapping the uh, mid scoop, which these, these, these absolutely scoop out the mids, which makes you sound massive as a, a rhythm part or if you're the only guitar in a band and if you're not the only guitar in a band mm, tough luck if you need to actually sit inside someone else's mid scoop these are rubbish unless you change the tone circuit so you can actually have a scoop or a hump so this gives you like a tube screamer like eq curve and um, a big math style distortion. So that's the lead sound you're hearing, and you're hearing this from the bass as well, just a little bit, and it's mixed with the clean sound. But this worked wonders, and uh, after about five attempts at getting the sound right, I ran that in through um, a very cheap 300 watt. Um, Laney hybrid head that I, I picked up because someone was selling it very cheap because they bought it because it came with a cab and they wanted the cab for their Kemper rig. This thing. This thing saved my bacon. It's a Palmer reamplification box. So instead of every guitar take, every time, recorded straight into the audio interface, uh, monitoring through whatever sounded good at the time, um, but just capturing the raw guitars and then playing the guitars out through this box into the guitar amp through the mics that were rigged up, which means we could play around afterwards to get a sound that was good. And that worked really well, particularly for getting the bass sound right, which that was really tricky. I, mean, I play bass myself sometimes. I'm not particularly good. Um, but I ended up um, using an isolation cab that I built and absolutely torturing an old Fender head and heartache combo and the isolation cab because trying to mic up a 15 inch wedge cab is kind of tricky that thing is super clean and super punchy and interesting. And then so is the fender, so that's why I needed to get the fuzz pedal in there to give it a bit of growl. Combination worked well. Um,
and then to get Zach's guitar parts down, I ended up using a crayon pedal and my black star and everything I could throw at it really because I put a few layers of Zach in to get that sound and that worked really well. And Zach, that, Zach was using a, a kit guitar that he built um, that he never quite had working right until we spotted what was wrong with it and I had to ask him to do a party. I really hate asking people to do uh, a really good performance again because there's a noise and an annoying noise and something and that's like, can you do it again? But, 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 it, I know, I know, but just one more time. And that, that was frustrating. But we got his guitar fixed and I think now he's using it as his main because it sounds amazing. He's got the right pickups for what we're doing, which is always good having the right pickups in the guitar. It makes a difference between, um, sounding how you want and not sounding how you want. Um, I don't know if you've seen some other videos, I have a sewing machine set up, it's not in shot here, but that's for winding bobbins for pickups because all of the pickups that I've used have been ones I've wound myself. It's not that difficult to wind a pickup bobbin, knowing how many turns of wire to use that requires oscilloscopes and signal generators and a bit of maths and is kind of nerdy. Or you can use trial and error. Um, depends how much you like science. Science is fun. And this one time at band camp. The other thing we massively ran into was time scheduling. Cause we had this one thing we needed to do. Oh, we need to get that thing done. Oh, and then this thing. And oh, what about the artwork? We didn't really think about that until we were nearly ready. Well, we were ready to release. And we scrambled to see if we could use this image or that image. And, and then we ended up asking a, a friend of mine to do some artwork. And, that turned out amazingly well. We're really happy with that. So thank you very much, Olga, for that. Um, but that was... I think I was on release candidate two of the mix. Yeah, programmer here. Um, and it got iterated a few times while I was waiting, which is really good because I realised it sounded awful and those little JBL shower boombox things. And a few other things that the it was too punchy and not quite what I wanted. And then having bits of text about your band to describe, what do you do? What do you sound like? What's the story of how you got together? How did you get to where you are now? Can you make it sound like a movie plot or a pitch for an RPG game? How are you going to sell this? Hmm. That's always fun. I mean, they're done now, which point the next one will be. Let's get all these things done for this date. And did all slide because it's like a bunch of friends doing a management project. But we'll have an idea of what we're doing. And it'll be fun again. Nice, it was a load of fun. It was also really frustrating. So. Go listen to the new single. Um, I really hope you enjoy it. But to see it being out there and being listened to and enjoyed or despised or reacted to and consumed will encourage us to do more. And there, there is more in the pipeline. There is plenty more music. We're not a band with one song. There is more being written, there is more that we already know, we've got a full set. And we're musicians, we 
we're always creating something. And we want to share it with you. Share it with your friends. It helps us out. Until next time, here's some more of Mr. Sweeney.